Crews in western Kelloland are having another busy day as they fight a fast-growing wildfire. Kelloland's Al Van Zee joins us live on the phone with the latest. What's going on, Al? The most important thing that's happened here this morning is that the winds have calmed down. The winds are much lower this morning than they were yesterday. That is a positive development for firefighters but because it gives them a chance to get up on those ridges up above uh, hot springs to put out those hot spots and those smokers. Those are going to be the ignition points if the winds kick up later on in the afternoon. So they want to be sure to put out all those hot spots, put out all, all those smokers, and uh, make sure that there's no ignition sources for uh, for a bigger fire this afternoon if the winds kick up. Right now the winds, it seems, are about 5 to 10 miles per hour, something like that. They're still out of the southwest, or rather out of the southeast. So uh, that north fr northwest front of the fire is still the uh, the most critical part of the fire just outside Hot Springs. The uh, situation on the evacuations is still the same. There's a pre-evacuation order in place for most of the residents that were evacuated over the last two days, so the situation is stable there. A Type 2 team has been brought in to take over management of the fire, and uh, we understand that they're here. They haven't taken over management yet, but they're in the process of doing that. We have had a uh, spotter plane making circles over the fire this morning. We haven't seen any major dumps, so they haven't uh, determined that the fire is at uh, a critical enough stage to bring in air support this morning. So that's been pretty quiet over the city of Hot Springs this morning as well. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Sal. And I bet fire crews could use some rain to help them out right now. Here's meteorologist Grant Smith with a look at our first forecast. Grant